I have been devoted to Silvermine for a long time, starting as a student. One time was with Robert Reed from Yale, and that really influenced my whole life. When I was young, I played under the trees, and I think a lot of the forms embedded themselves in my uh, mind. Later on in life, I got interested in, in calligraphy, and I saw the trees against the sky and the calligraphy of it, and the way in which the branches reached for the light and reached for moisture and so on, and grew that way, and grew in relation to nature. And I felt it was a way to convey that, that energy. I had read about <clears throat> William Kennedy up in New York State had founded the Institute for Writers because he felt that living outside of New York, uh, the writers needed to have some contact with the rest of the uh, writing world. And we, I felt the same thing for us in terms of, of um, our, our artwork. The board approved, uh, fortunately, that to start the Institute for Visual Artists. And so we met every month and had panel discussions and talked about things like the spiritual in art and then mundane things about materials and color. We had many, many panels. Just to tell you one story, Will Barnett came out and um, he asked me at one point, what does your husband do? And I said, well, he was a lawyer. He said, oh, my wife is a lawyer. And somehow as a young, at that point I was, I don't know, in my 40s, I guess, but as a young artist, it was, it was again, all right. For, for me to be doing this as my work and my husband to be a lawyer with bringing in the money and me not bringing in the money. So um, it was a wonderful thing for me to have that uh, discussion with Will Barnett. It seems to me when I come out to Silvermine that it has been this strong uh, line of, of artists has continued and the quality of, of the artwork has continued. And it seems to me that for the future, it has a, a real place there now as an art center, but also as a, a place for artists. And I know that um, it's easier to raise money for things like educational projects and so on, and uh, harder to uh, raise money to pay the salary in the gallery. And so I have suggested that we have a Silvermine Gallery Fund and I hope that um, people will, will feel the same way I do and, and support that idea. Uh, yeah, and thank you to Silvermine for remembering that I'm still here and coming into New York to interview me in my loft. I appreciate that very much.